but we've definitely been enjoying it. A Celtics fan right now is showing off some winning work of his own. Yeah, each time the Celtics win, which is a lot, he creates a new custom jersey to celebrate. You can see some of his work right here. Pretty great. Yeah, and he's hoping to be designing another one, of course, tonight. Hmm. WBZ's Mike Sullivan talked with him about his creations. The Celtics jersey is iconic, stoic, for the most part unchanged. Yet when it comes to a fan's imagination, KG said it best, anything is possible. When the pandemic first hit, I was writing for SB Nation. And so when, and so when there just wasn't sports anymore, I was like, cool, well, I uh, got to do something to fill the time. Pete Rogers began tinkering, his hands a flurry, his brain flush with ideas, ways to recreate the classic jersey. Was proficient in Photoshop, and I had just found a basketball template, a blank basketball template, and was like, I'll design jerseys. Why not? This could be fun. NFL jerseys, NBA jerseys. He hit all four major sports. For this year's particularly, I was like, wanting to do something Celtics oriented. He is a Lincoln native, now living in chilly Minneapolis. The majority of his 14,000 Twitter followers are from the Boston area. I figured roping it into wins was the easiest way. I thought at the time, that eh, 50 jerseys probably isn't that hard. 50 jerseys was a lot, 57 was even more, so. Some designs are plays off the Celtics jersey you know, some off iconic parts of Boston. For the make way for ducklings, I knew I wanted to include the row of ducks. Once the playoffs hit, he began designing C's jerseys inspired by their opponent's logo and threads. Stealing the opponent's jersey after every win is what I call it. Soon fans didn't want to just see the designs. They wanted to wear them. We do uh, about monthly drop, um, and that's all through my Twitter. A Florida company, Wade and Williamson, began producing small batches of his jerseys. Seeing it crop up at Celtics games is amazing. Seeing people wear them to games is amazing. Here's to hoping he creates 13 more. The last one, duck boat inspired. In Boston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. That is a great idea and he is really talented. He's so good at it and I like the ones that really have that Boston feel like the one that was obviously like Dunkin' Donuts, one the was MBTA. like Cheers. Yep. Very cool, very Bravo. talented. Okay.